Labour Party, NMPP Major, we are yet to agree on if P2B or Kwang Paso will be presented as presidential candidate. Doi Wukupui, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. In an interview with Vanguard, Okupe said both parties were still in talks ahead of the July 17th deadline by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for the substitution of candidates. The vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Doni Okupe, says his party and the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, have agreed to form an alliance ahead of the forthcoming general elections. In an interview with Vanguard, Okwe said both parties were still in talks ahead of the July 17th deadline by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for the substitution of candidates. He said they had yet to reach an agreement on which platform would produce the presidential candidate as both parties were insisting on being the arrowhead of the union in terms of presidency. He said, we have not foreclosed on anything. What has happened is that there have been lots of informal informal discussions and interventions on the merger. There have been a lot of third party interventions on this same issue. Officially, I have been involved in two meetings in two different locations where we discuss extensively. I can tell you authoritatively that I have spoken with Rabbi Yukwankwasu on this matter. We have agreed to cooperate together as two different parties to enthrone a new political order in this country. We also agreed on working together politically and constituting a platform on which a national grand alliance can be built in pursuit of the same goal. We have not reached an agreement on the issue of whether the North will be president or the South will be president because both sides are insisting on being the arrowhead of the Union in terms of presidency. This is where we have not really agreed. As of today, this is where we stand, but there are a lot of goodwill ambassadors working behind the scene. The options are still open. We have up till July 17th or so to take a final decision, but the options are still open. We have not foreclosed on anything. Reacting to claims that Kwan Kwaso has not agreed to be obese when he meet, he said, I'm surprised about that and I have tried to reach out. It is something that it is that is a bit too early. We have the right access and we're talking officially and unofficially. I had information, but I've not been able to confirm it. Okay, oh, they don't tell us so. Say they never, they never reach an agreement. You know that um, this man, this particular activist, who people normally misunderstood or misunderstood a lot, uh, misunderstood a lot these days, uh, DJ Day and you has kept advising not just Kwan Kwasu, a party and the P2B party, that is an NNPP and the Labour Party, that both of them, even the YPP, even the AAC, they should come together. This is what Baba Jagaban used to dislodge or should I say to remove the PDP from power. You know that if you try as a person or in one small party, it will not. But let people come together and let them form an alliance and they can be able or will be able to stand the chance. In advanced nation, parties like LP and NNPP will not struggle to find a common ground for a merger. The both parties have shown that they have the interest of ordinary Nigerian. As the case is now, P2B have the pedigree, charisma, and vision, and purpose to lay a good foundation for Nigeria to move forward Kwankwasu as VP. An elderly will be a very good support system to achieve this as a very good team and a balance between North and South. Kwan Kwasa will then take over the mantle of leadership after P2B's tenure and build on the foundation that both helped to lay. Joe Biden was elderly to Barack Obama and the both team worked together to make America great. This shouldn't be a very difficult thing for B and Kwan Kwasa to do. If you ask me my own opinion, if it's crystal clear how it's supposed to be, it is supposed to be the South be the president because, from all indications, we have a Northern president on seat now. It is very easy to do. Make we no go do we thing, you know. We get person where we say be nothing and we sit down for that seat. Nigeria is a multi multi ethnic country. We cannot afford to come and say ko mean ko matter. It's not possible. 
even religiously we have not just the northern but the northern muslim and so there's nothing wrong with us having a southern christian on that seat sincerely while a northern muslim is vice reason because it is what is rational it is what tomorrow they will not come and say ojoro di it is it is fair and just to the people of nigeria okay Peter has better chances to win the election than Kwang Kwaso. That is not the basis. Based on his qualification and achievement, all the change people are coming for to take Nigeria is because of P2B. Hmm. Okay. Your own opinion. If a present a Northern candidate, especially if it's a Muslim, we will not vote him. That is what I am talking about. Do not take the people of Nigeria, most especially those who are not Northerners and not Muslims. Do not take them for granted. Don't be like, eh, it doesn't mean. Ego mean, no. It means something. It mean. Let this thing move to another zone, I beg. It is not their birthright. Unless they all have an ulterior motive that might be the reason for insisting to be president again. Do you not see that people are going to start making up stories? So, for everything to be perfect and just and right, P2B should just, be South should be allowed to produce while the, the North should be the vice. In my own noble opinion, no. I stand to be corrected, do. Okay. Kwang Kwaso should uh, swallow his pride and accept the VP slot. There are so many things that favor will be more than him. Let us do things for Nigeria and not for ourselves. That is the good. That is the thing. Let us do thing, these things for Nigeria and not for ourselves. Buhari is still in power. He came from the same zone with Kwang Kwaso. There is no point debating who should be president among the two. Besides, Obi is resonating more with the masses. Mm -hmm. It is crystal clear. Any normal thinking person will tell you that this is how it is supposed to go. Okay? Apart from that, the wave is on Obi's side right now. That's the truth. And it will be pertinent for that wave and movement to continue in that direction. Secondly, to give voters from all the right to see that truly they believe in equity. That is what I am saying. The presidency is supposed to be zoned to the southeast and the B is from the southeast and qualified as well. So, Kwang Kwaso should run as his vice and God willing in eight years, he will get the same support. It is crystal clear. But I know that, that it is as easy, it is, it is for us to say it is not going to be easy for, for Kwang Kwaso. Reasons best known to him as well. If Kwan Kwaso really mean well for Nigeria, he should sacrifice his ego because Obi CV is rich compared to his CV. No disrespect. Hmm. Your opinion. Okay, and that's not we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of it.